In a distributed system, have you ever noticed that when one server goes down, things start acting weird? Why does one application keep running smoothly with slightly outdated information while other completely crashes when the node fails? The CAP theorem says that in case of a network partition, you can either have consistency or availability. You cannot have both. Financial, inventory and billing systems cannot tolerate incorrect balances or transactions. If a user sees slightly outdated content, it is acceptable. Before we dive into today's topic, I want to take a moment to reflect on something far more important than any technology or theory. The current situation unfolding between India and Pakistan. As tension rise, it's not just headline being affected, it's lives. Innocent civilians, brave soldiers and countless families bear the real cost of conflict. In these moments, it becomes more crucial than ever for us as a citizen, as humans, to advocate for peace, dialogue and understanding. Let us honor and remember those who have lost their lives. Our heartfelt gratitude goes out to the security forces who continue to protect us with the unwavering coverage and commitment. Their sacrifice should never be taken for granted. Let us voice for calm, not chaos, for unity, not division. No matter which side of the border we stand on, peace is something we must all work towards. Stay vigilant and stay safe. Now back to our today's topic. In a distributed system, have you ever noticed that when one server goes down, things start acting weird? Sometimes users start seeing inconsistent data like product was shown in stock and is suddenly out of stock when you click on buy. And in other cases, the entire application becomes unresponsive, like it just froze and stopped listening. So why does this happen? Why do different systems behave differently in failure scenarios? Why does one application keep running smoothly with slightly outdated information while other completely crashes when the node fails? It is not a bug. It's the design decision. And that design decision is explained beautifully by something called CAP theorem. It is one of the most important concept in distributed systems. Today, let's break down what is CAP theorem, what it really means for your applications and how it affects the choices architect and engineers make every day. CAP theorem is a fundamental concept in distributed system design. It tells us in the presence of a network partition, we have to choose between consistency and availability. To understand it completely, we need to understand all three components of CAP theorem. Here CAP is an acronym where C stands for consistency, A stands for availability and P stands for partition tolerance. Let's break these down one by one. First is consistency. Consistency means every read gets the latest data. In a distributed system, multiple nodes are doing reads and writes. No matter which server handles the request, the user should always see the latest data. If you update a value and then someone else read it, they should see the updated value immediately, no matter which server they connect to. So let us understand this with a very simple example. So this is our distributed system with three nodes. Let us say one of those nodes receive a write request to update the value to 100. So once the node updates the value to 100, it also sends a signal to other nodes to make those similar changes to make the data consistent. Now when write node confirmed that the data is updated and at the same time one read request is also received, now if the data read returns the latest updated data, then it is considered as a consistent system. So no matter which server they connect to, they should see the updated value. Next is availability. In this, every request gets a response, even if some of the servers are down or the network is slow. The system is always up and responsive, even if response is not the most up to date, it will always return something. The last one is partition tolerance. So if your system is partition tolerant, that means your system can keep running even if some parts of the system are not able to talk to each other. Basically, during network issues, when some nodes cannot communicate with the other nodes, the system still continue to function. Okay, so these are the components which play important role in CAP theorem. But let's see what exactly CAP theorem says. The CAP theorem says that in case of a network partition, you can either have consistency or availability. You cannot have both. Now, because network issues will happen, so that cannot be avoided, which means you are left with only one choice. Either you pick consistency or you pick availability. You can't have both at the same time when there is a network partition. Let's walk through a real world scenario to understand this better. 
Now imagine you have two nodes A and B in a distributed system. In that a network partition happens. That means communication between A and B is broken. Now a client writes the data to node A and another client tries to read the data from node B. Now here is the problem. If B returns the data it already had without the recent write from A, the system is available but not consistent because the data B is returning is not updated. And if B refuses to return anything until it gets the latest write from A, then the system is consistent but not available to the client. So in this case the client will not receive any response. Now you must choose consistency if you do not want to serve the stale data. This can be done by sacrificing the availability of the system. And if you choose availability to serve the data that you have, even if it is not latest updated data, then this can be done by sacrificing the consistency. Now based on CAP theorem, partition tolerance is must. So now we have two type of systems, one that supports availability and other one supports consistency. In the real world applications, financial, inventory and billing systems cannot tolerate incorrect balances or transactions. So they go for consistency with partition tolerance because it is better to wait than return the stale or incorrect data. To achieve consistency for structured data, we can use databases like Google Spanner. It is a relational database. It uses synchronous replication across multiple nodes. That will make sure that all nodes in the system always return the latest data. If the data is non-structured, in that case, databases like HBase can be used. It's a NoSQL column family database. Now for the systems favoring availability over consistency are social media feeds, product catalogs or IoT sensor data. If a user sees slightly outdated content, it is acceptable. Priority in such system is to respond quickly and never go down, even during the partitions. For that, we have CockroachDB and Cassandra database solutions supporting availability during network partition. Now I hope you understood what CAP theorem really wants to establish. You can now make an informed decision while designing your system based on your business requirements. If you have learned something new today, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about system design, you can check out my system design playlist. I have already covered many topics, be it high level, low level design, scaling in the system, load balancers, and complete caching tutorials and database design in depth. I'll continue adding more important concept videos every week. So do check it out once. In the next video, we will cover another amazing and important concept in distributed system, which is consistent hashing. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, let's keep learning.